Right. Um, this is going well today on the five minute. Blimey. Okay. Um, French defense. Nice. Okay, can't play the Kogan system. I know he's not doing that well in, in the US Bowl. It's only just started the US Championship, but he's a really brilliant player. Kobian, I think. Uh, he still plays the French defence. A lot of GMs are not playing the French defence, but he is. Uh, so maybe we should we should like video annotate some of his games. Um, I'll take this way to play Bishop B5, I think. And get rid of that knight square bishop. And get knight to C6. Again, to hit E5. Okay, right. So I just want to sack g7, bishop e7, queen g7, castles, rook, queen f7, though. Maybe it's easier just to play g6 here. Or maybe bishop g7, actually, e5 is a bit vulnerable, surely. Mm. Right here, e5. Actually, h6, does that force h4? Will you play h4 here? Okay, how about knight e7 to f5 then? Try and embarrass the queen. So, I don't know, h5 here isn't the queen kind of locked in? And get rid of this guy, push on h6. Should I bother taking the knight or the rook? Maybe the rook. Okay, so maybe Queen C4 is going to be had in the castle queen side. In castle queen side, eh? Queen's protecting um, F7. So like Rook D7, Queen C4, that sort of thing. Uh, Rook D7, Queen C4. In fact, looks like a good plan against H4. Can't see anything else. Rook D7. Okay. Uh, something nasty planned with rook d1, probably. Okay, so queen c4. Or should I just get this other rook into play? Hang on a sec, let's get this other rook into play. Maybe king king over, and then rook c8, then queen c4. Okay, so sort of uh, Nimzovich Kapodanka game, if I can just infiltrate with the rooks later, minority attack with b4. So Nimzovich Capablanca comes to mind. Also G3, I could have just, could have just maybe taken on G3 just then. But um, cool, cool. Nimzo Capablanca game, potentially. So B5, A5, B4, maybe Bishop, Brook B7 would be useful here. Um, I don't want to get overexcited about this though, this minority attack. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I'll keep the rooks here to stop b3. Knight d4. Do I mind one pair of rooks coming off? Probably not. No, no draw. Minority attack. You must suffer the minority attack now. <laughs> oh, cheek. The cheek of it. So b4 here. Structure is, is going to be broken down surely now. Threatening to win material straight off the bat. Okay, rook infiltration. With advantage, surely. So I'm getting rooks doubled now. Oh, his king's coming to f6. So I guess I'm now worse. Oh dear. Uh, time to accept the draw or just march the king and take on b4 and try and queen d pawn and leave the rook on c7 maybe. Uh, to protect f6, his king's now an aggressive piece, but so is mine. If I can get this d pawn queening, that would be a good plan. Okay, so the rook is needed on c7. R is rook's passive. That's the question. Probably rook a5 if he wants to stop. What is that? How he's going to win um, over there? What about. Um, Okay, there's rook f2 as a defence here. 
Is it Rook F8? No, there isn't. Okay, I'll have to make a run with the deep pawn and sack the rook, maybe. Oh, but what's this? I don't want to give him the e pawn as a runner, but or the h pawn. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm confused. Um, do I win the b pawn? That leaves his h pawn running. I'll go for this guy for a sec. Maybe the f pawn. It's a decoy. Okay. Is the f pawn really a decoy here? He just takes it. I don't know. This pawn's getting very dangerous. If I play maybe for rook g6 or rook c4 here, that might be good actually. I need to get my d pawn going in return and and stop the uh, checks because otherwise I'm going to lose a rook for nothing. So the f pawn might save me here. B5. Okay, he has to waste time for this, doesn't he? Okay, keep the d pawn just in case. Ah, f and e pawn. Okay, so king e4. E6, D3, E7, D2 is too slow. F3, F3, F2. I think I'm going to take and then pin the pawn. Well, that's useful. Well, that's cool. Well, the pawn's pinned, so King E2. And I can sack the rook and play F1. And there's, I think, stronger. And king e2 here, I don't think so. Have I ever beaten this guy? This guy brings bad memories as I've lost every game to him. I hope not. Oh, now revenge will be sweet if I do beat him. Uh, so d3, d2, d, d1 queening. So I'm on the queen, oh, I'll have to take now. So king takes d3. I'm still having a chance here. Just get these pawns queening. One of them's going to queen, isn't it? His pawn's a few miles away from queening. So I queen first. I queen first. And then I've got no checks. Um, I can't see what else to do. I, I got queen b3, hold on a sec. So I can play f1 queening, if, if I sack the queen, is f1 queening now? Let's get the king now, 33 seconds. Can I break down the coordination of this guy? Probably not. 27 seconds. Okay, where do I want the king? Over here. Come on, queen against rook, come on. Should be easy. Famous last words for 20 seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Queen h4, queen c7. Queen g5, queen g5. Queen h5, would that be handy? Try and wear him down with these checks. He's going for a stalemate. Can I win that rook? Is there any way of winning that rook? Yes.
pre move time, five seconds, loads of time. <laughs> Blimey, that was a bit of a what? What are my stats against this guy? If we do a search, King's Crusher, why does this guy bring bad memories? Rasp, J E Rouge Neck. There are no games matching the query. That was a bit of an intense game. <laughs> Blimey, his blitz is two four two one. His bullets two one zero six. His five minute okay, he's been up to two four six five on the on the five minute auto pairing. It's three days twenty three twenty. Rasp a little rasp rujnik. Okay. Ah, uh, that was a bit of an epic uh, game. <laughs> How? Uh, hmm. So much for the old um, analogy with Nimzo Capelanka, but I missed Knight G3, of course. When he played, no, I didn't. The Queen's protecting G3. What nonsense! So the minority attack, um, obviously, uh, was was balanced by his king coming to F6. That was a bit of a distraction. So I was hoping the D pawn and the F pawns would be useful. Uh, but it's um, this is dramatic. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.